Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Will Rush, the next gen Vinyl Tupé Piston Cup Racer number 76 from Cars 3. Before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing first. Here we've got the red background and the old Cars logo, his artwork for Cars 3, his name branding, and his die cast sealed in, the metal logo, the Mattel logo, along with the artwork name and die cast sealed of the Blue Eyes variant of Tim Treadless. Which, by the way, is a blue eyes variant, although I have the one with brown eyes. And on the back, we have the we have a bit of red background, the metal logo, as seen in, the Cars 3 logo, Will and Will Rush and Tim Treadless themselves, although this here is the brown eyes version of Tim Treadless. 2022 Mattel, made in Thailand, Mattel logo, empowering the next generation through play, Disney slash Pixar, www.disney.com slash cars. Oops. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the unboxing. I'll be back after this has been unboxed. Here we have Will Rush and the Blue Eyes variant of Tim Treadless all opened up and out of the package. But I'm going to set aside the Blue Eyes Tim Treadless variant aside for another day. But, so today... But for now, for today, we're focusing on Will Rush here. So anyhow, Will Rush is a next-gen Piston Cup racer who currently bears the number 76 for Vinyl Tupé. And he also resembles, shares the same body mold as... Danny Suarez. And during his appearance in Cars 3, Will Rush was one of the next-gen racers to make their debuts in 2017 before the Florida 500 at the Florida International Speedway. Before the Florida 500 itself at the Florida International Speedway itself, he previously replaced the previous vinyl tube racer, Rev Road Ages, a car similar to Brick Yardley, who I unfortunately don't have, and was able to finish the race and hadn't had a speaking line in the film. And during his diecast releases, he was released once as a single in 2021, then in a two pack for 2023 with Tim Treadless. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his... His... Pensive facial expression. His headlights and black grill. His... 
metallic dark purple exterior color a bit of gold at the front bottom and on the hood we've got a next gen vinyl toupee logo in white and yellow on on a blue aqua blue triangle and on both sides we have a we have the metallic dark purple rims on yellow trimming on the next gen black wall light year racing tires and a few contingency logos saying piston cup combustor carbon cyber and center G a white number 76 with which is half white with a bit of gold lines at the on the other halves and a bit of gold on the bottom and he and they dark gold arrow indicate at the bottom indicating a pity to lift him up and the exhaust pipes and the gas cap and the vinyl toupee logo and on the top we have and on the top he has a bit of he has some black which I believe all vinyl toupee piston cup racers have black on the top and on the spoiler we have the vinyl toupee logo and with the black background and on the back we have the red tail lights and the vinyl toupee logo in the middle number 76 a bit of aqua blue lines and the gold rookie stripes implying that he's a rookie and a bit of gold at the very bottom and on the undercarriage it says we have Mattel Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand and now let's compare him to the other vinyl toupee racer Krusty Rodor now here are some similarities and differences both race for vinyl toupee in the piston cup with the number 76 both have black on the top. Krusty Rodor from Cars 1, Rev Road Ages from Cars 3. 2005 Vinyl Toupe logo, 2017 Vinyl Toupe logo, number 76 on the top, no number 76 on the top, and both, neither of them have a name signature. Ducktail spoiler, flat spoiler, black rims, dark purple and yellow trimming rims. Both have the gas cap on the left side. gold number 76 white and gold line number 76 several contingency logos fewer contingency logos vinyl toupee logo on trunk vinyl toupee logo on spoiler Both have the vinyl toupee logo in the middle. Tail light stickers. Working tail lights. The slogan she'll never notice on the back bumper. While the slogan is absent on Rev Road Ages. Rookie stripes. No rookie stripes implying that 
Krusty Rodar was a veteran. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other X-Gen racers that share his body mold. We have Danny Suarez, Paul Conrev, Barry DePetal, Conrad Camber, Eric Breaker, Herb Kerbler, Cam Spinner, Flip Dover, George Newin, Steve Slick LePage, Michael Rodor, JP Drive, Richie Gunzit, and Kurt alias Kurt with the bug teeth, and the other Vital Tube Bay Piston Cup racer, Krusty Rodor from Cars 1. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which next-gen racer that have the Danny Suarez body mold is your favorite? And which Vinyl Tupe Racer is your favorite. Is it Krusty Rodor? Rev Road Ages? Or, I mean, Krusty Rodor? Or Will Rush? Or Rev Road Ages, who I unfortunately don't have? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I would like to thank everyone for hitting me 1800 subscribers yesterday. So, let's go and keep it rolling. And I hope to see you guys next and I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!